I'm going to insert this little vlog clip here because I just got an exciting package from Dossier. If you guys have never heard of Dossier, they're actually a perfume company. The thing that I love about Dossier when I was looking through their website is all of the scents are super affordable with perfumes starting at $29. And then they also offer designer perfume scents, which only start at $50, called Oriental Oak Moss. And it is one of the designer um, mock scents. They also receive like ex excellent feedback which how close the scent smells so they also offer um, scents that smell like the YSL Black Opium. As you guys know YSL Black Opium is so expensive but at Dossier they offer for literally around $50. You can get free returns and exchanges if you don't like the scent that you got and they also offer discounts if you buy like more than three perfumes and they also offer like different deals like that and they're also always adding like new scents to their collections and to the website so I'm going to show you guys the um perfume that I got. I'll have it linked down below along with my discount code that you guys could shop. It is 10 Ashley Olsen. This is a little package. It just says a dossier and I love the inside. It says iconic scents, designer quality, no markups and oh, it smells so good and it gives you like notes about the perfume that you got. So the um Top notes of the Oriental Oak Moss perfume is bergamot, orange, and peach. The middle notes are jasmine, rose, and patchouli. The base notes are oak moss, vanilla, and vetiver. And it is inspired by the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum. The concentration is 15%, and then it gives you their mission statement as well. And this is the packaging. They also give you a little sampler, um, which I'm definitely going to keep this in my purse. But... This is the perfume. It comes so nicely packaged and it, the glass bottle, and it's so sleek too. Like I don't like, especially when I'm displaying perfumes in my room or whatever, I don't really like a lot of like clutter. This is very simple, especially with Mother's Day coming up. This is a very good deal. And I also have a discount code for you guys to use so you can get your mom a nice little perfume for Mother's Day, which I am definitely going to be doing. I already placed my order. But yes, thank you so much to Dossier for sending this over. Let me know what perfume you guys pick out. If you guys get the Oriental Oak Moss one, we will be twinning. I'll, again, have it linked down below. Hello. What is up? Happy Monday. I just woke up. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, I'm starting a college week in my life. I haven't done a week in my life, I think, since last semester because my weeks are so boring. But this week actually starts finals week. Today is Monday and today is the first day of reading days and I'm going to get all my exams done this week. I have one in-person exam on a Friday. I have an exam due on Friday. I have a presentation tomorrow. I have a job interview today at 10. I have an exam that opens on Friday and is due um, the following week, but I'll probably do it on Friday. I just woke up. It's around 8.06. I'm going to hop in the shower because I do have a job interview for post-grad at around 10 a.m. And it's on Zoom when I like desperately need to wash my hair. Then after that, I need to pick up my room because it is an actual disaster. And then I'm going to make some breakfast and obviously some coffee. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this little vlog and I'll see you guys once I'm done in the shower. It's like around 8.30. I just got out of the shower. I think what I'm gonna do right now while I let my hair dry is clean up my room because it's an actual disaster and I just can't live like this and I also need to make my bed so going to blow dry it out if you guys have not tried the Revlon little brush moment I'll show you guys exactly what I mean this little guy you don't know what you're doing is incredible when I do this I usually just section my hair off and it gives me like the perfect blowout moment hey you guys I just finished using that Revlon brush I'm trying to get better at it if you guys have any techniques let me know but I 
always have trouble blow drying my hair because when I blow dry it, it comes out like super frizzy. It's still a little frizzy, but I'm going to put some product in it. But I just love a good blowout look. And I also need to figure out what the fuck am I going to wear. But yeah, I'm like praying this interview as well because I really, oh, want to work for this company. Guys, I'm home. My roommates and I just did an Instacart together. It was like $80 and it was super easy. So we're just gonna split it by the three of us. But right now I'm home. I need to go back to the grocery store actually for myself. I usually go on Sundays, but I didn't want to go yesterday. So I literally have no fresh produce whatsoever. So I um, made this little frozen meal. It's just cauliflower rice, cheese sauce, and broccoli. And I'm going to watch some YouTube videos because I don't want to do anything right now. And yeah, I'm going to watch Amanda's vlog. My new video. Shout out to you, girly. Okay, you guys. I have about 10 minutes of my interview and I'm going to hop on in a few. But I want to show you guys what I'm wearing and like the reality of a Zoom interview. I am wearing sweatpants, but my top half is a lot nicer. I put on these gold hoops. I didn't put any makeup on because my allergies are really bad and I didn't want anything touching my face. Obviously, my hair is blue dried. I just put on this black turtleneck to be simple. These gold hoops to add a little statement. I might put a necklace on too. And then this blazer is actually from one of my friends. Um, her name is C. Anna. She has an Instagram called Re Reclaimed and she um, repurposes um, clothing she finds at Goodwill and different Salvation Armies and thrift stores. So yes, about to kill this interview. Let's go. I have like I don't know if you guys do this for like zoom interviews or whatever but i have like talking points i want to hit that i'll have like open because i don't want to miss out on anything and yeah let's do this ah. okay you guys it's 5 51 i just woke up from a nap my head really hurt so i just need to nap it off but i am going to grab a dinner in a little bit with my friends kristen and jill which i think you guys have seen in the vlogs but there's this chinese restaurant kabuki that is in the town of Wakefield, and they do half price appetizers on Mondays. But right now, while I wait for that, I have a promotional project due tonight that I need to finish up. So basically, for the class I'm in, it's called Fashion Promotion, and we helped do the spring 2021 fashion show by interviewing all the designers and make it virtual. We had different feature stories, but right now I am doing a sponsorship list for spring of 2022 fashion show. So what sponsors we would like to see and like a paragraph description of each. So I picked out all the sponsors, but right now I just have to type up a little paragraph stating why we think they would be a good sponsor, kind of in depth. And I have to do that for each. And I have to do this now. I want to do it before I go to dinner because I'm going to send it over to my group members. It's like a group thing. So I'm doing the promotional plan. The other girl is doing, I forget what else in the, um, my friend Noah is doing a raffle basket idea list. Because usually this is in person, we have like raffles, sponsors, whatever. So I picked out all the sponsors and I see to type this up and I want to do it before I leave. And I also had a final exam. I can't believe today is like the last day of classes. So I can't believe I am basically done with undergrad. But um, my final exam for my textile performance class was just uploaded and it's due on Friday. And okay, so I just have to answer four questions. But the first question I have to answer is four parts and then I can answer one other one. Okay. Okay, not bad. I could like do that over been a few days and then I have an in-person final on Friday so that's gonna be fun I'm just gonna do this now get this sent over I'll see you guys when I'm done with this and at dinner hey guys we're at dinner oh, look who I'm here with Jordan and Kristen and of course a and we got a spread Connie salad edamame what'd you guys get oh, Connie salad edamame what'd y'all get Connie salad and mm -hmm. I don't know how to say this but they're, they're, really they're like dumplings. 
pork dumplings. Kristen, what'd you get? The salad, obviously. Me's fully and zoomed in on your face. The shrimp dumplings. I've never had What'd you get? I got the chicken lettuce wraps with some calamari. Her. Bye, vlog. Bye. Bye, guys. I'm coming to Jersey to see. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just slammed the door. I hope you got all of that. I also took an aggressive amount and I went like this as I was leaving. So I just Her. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> no. Hi, what is up? Happy Tuesday. It is around 9.30. I just got off a phone interview for another potential post-grad job. But right now, in literally three minutes, I have a final presentation. And I'm just going through my slides. We were either, this is for my social media marketing class, and we were either able to choose the company that she provided for us or do like another company. So we did a local small business. Call Nutrition Dynamics, if you guys go to URI or live in the area, you know this place. So I do like an overview of the company, an audit of their social media. I did like the SWOT analysis, target market. I did the competitor assessments. These are goals, objectives, and metrics, social media strategy and platform selection, roles and responsibilities, content strategy, distribution strategy, policies, and our response plan. I also did the influencer program. Advertising strategy, results, recommendations, and then we go into our um, social media calendar. But yes, we have to like hop on a Zoom. And we were supposed to present this last week, but we ran out of time, so we have to go today. And I don't want to do it, <laughs> but I'll see you guys when I'm done. And Or you were like having like some kind of like, you know, like like poetry thing, but for like business professionals, like networking event type thing. I wanted to do Are the you king of the <laughs> Yeah. I, I forget what I got. Closer. Black I beans, fajitas, corn, mild, and lettuce, and a large GC, and Claire Moore here. Okay, <laughs> you guys, it is 7 p.m. I finished eating my trolle, and I still have my Diet Coke behind me, but right now, I opened up my final exam for my um, tax out performance class. It's due on Friday. I just want to get it over with. So it says I have to answer question one parts A, B, C, D. Question one parts A, B, C, and D. And then one additional question for a total selection. So this is question one. It looks so fun. This is like the question one. And then I have to answer A, B, C, and D. Which is so exciting that I have to answer one of the following four questions. So it shouldn't be hard. And I think I'm going to start with one of the smaller questions and then do okay? the bigger question. Hi, Urkinator. I was just telling them that I opened up my final exam. Hell fucking yeah, on that grind. It's only two questions, but look, I'll show you, Claire. It says answer question one parts A, B, C, and G, and then oh. one additional question. So and this it's like is 10 like questions. want A, B, C, B and they're all. <laughs> That sounds annoying. Yeah, I was gonna stay here and do it, but I'm being peer pressured to leave the house. Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Right now it is around 8 a.m. Eric and I are gonna go get our weekly COVID test on campus and then grab some breakfast. My allergies are so bad. My like throat is itchy, my eyes are puffy, my eyes are itching. And it's just great. But yeah, we're gonna go get tested right now. I like can't talk right now. Ew. 
Yeah. They're fogging up. I'm so sorry, but Eric and I are on campus right now. We just got COVID tested, and we're literally about to go buy our cap and gowns, which I'm really not happy about. Yeah. Big emo. Big emo. Big. As I mentioned before, I actually got off my phone interview. It went so well. That was the second round interview with that company. It literally went so well. I love that company so much. And they said that I'm basically at the top of their list and I'll hear back on Monday, which is so scary. But in around 20 minutes, I have an interview with, I was gonna say, I have an interview with Saks as, for a marketing coordinator position, which is really exciting. So I have that. I'm literally gonna wear the same thing I wore for my interview on Monday, which was just the black turtleneck and the white blazer with some gold hoops. And yeah, I am super nervous about this one because it's literally Saks and I'm like, oh, little old me, but second round interviews, let's get it. Okay, you guys, it is currently 12.57. I have a phone interview at one, but I thought I would update you guys that um, I was able to purchase senior week tickets. If you guys don't know what senior week is, it's usually like a five day thing, but due to COVID restrictions, we're only doing two days and it was very limited tickets so my friends and i were only able to get um a pass to foxwoods which i'm excited about too because it includes a hotel room and it's sounds really fun and they like rented out this bar area so yeah you guys i just made lunch this looks a little ratchet because i wanted to cut the burger in half to make sure it was like somewhat cooked but I just had a lettuce wrap burger moment. I'm so excited. Corn, say hi. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it's dinner time. Got salmon, I season it with breadcrumbs, olive oil, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and then this Spanish owl, um cauliflower rice. Eric's got it too. Say's here, Mo's here, and guys, we're watching Starstruck. Per. Guys, we did something bad. Something was ordered. Something moved on time. We got, I don't know if you guys can see, but they're little like cookie dough blasts. They look so good. There's little like, cookie dough on here. What else did we get? Well, Eric so got Nicole. mozzarella sticks. I, I don't know if you have marinara sauce in here. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh my god, thank god. Which I'm gonna regret in like oh, five no, you seconds. Don't. Oh. Oh my god. We should have asked Maria for marinara. I got a corn dog if you guys. Show you a little taste test on the camera. I'm scared. Oh, I'm sure, I don't want to Sorry, I don't want to balance her down here. I'm gonna try sticky. There's no mozzarella or no marinara sauce, but we're still gonna push through. This tastes like the fair. This is good. Wait, this is good. myself in like a half hour and just to preface this we don't live close to a sonic at all mm -mm. like we have to hike here there was a track Good morning everyone happy thursday do not mind my hair but i slept in a little bit later today but i'm going to hop in the shower because my hair is disgusting it is around 9.30. I have nothing doing this morning until around noon. And I'm going to dedicate this time after I shower to studying for my final exam on Friday. Which is, it's going to be easy because it's on Excel. But I just want to refresh my memory with all like, the inputs and everything like that. Okay guys, it's 9.45. I just got out of the shower. And I am going to make breakfast and coffee. I just threw, I'm not like super hungry right now honestly. So I just threw two pieces of toast into the toaster, which I'll like have with butter or something. I also have blueberries that I want to eat. I'm going to have yogurt as well. 
and then coffee. These blueberries are really good. I found them at the store. They're the Driscoll's sweetest batch. Okay hey guys, this is breakfast, two pieces of the Dave's white bread done right, on some blueberries, and I made an iced coffee. As always, um, I just use my cold brew maker with the Plano extra creamy and any creamer I have. But yes, cheers everyone to Thursday. One more day of finals and then we're done. Okay hey guys, it's 11.33. I'm gonna show you what I completed for my final. So I basically have this. Our final is in person on Excel. She said we can use our notes. So I literally have this Word document that shows, um, I made sure I knew how to do them, but just like a refresher if I need it, like how to calculate the total market and like the average firm market share, sales growth, and unit growth. I have all those calculations in size of wallet and share of wallet. I know how to do pivot tables and sorting. That's super easy. And the if and an or function of the lookup and each lookup I know how to do. So I feel like it's not going to be hard at all. And she basically told us like what um, each question is going to be on. But right now it is 1134. I have work at noon. I don't want to go at all because I literally like still need to study and i'm going to the bars tonight i'm not gonna like get hammered but still just like hang out with my friends or whatever but i need to change for work and i don't know what to wear okay you guys it's friday morning there's like no one on campus because it's like finals and a lot of people have finals online but guys it is my last day of undergrad like after today I'm done which is so weird i look atrocious right now i went out last night not doing hot have to somehow take a final but yeah i'm like really emotional right now i can't believe this is my last time going into like the business building crazy i think it's like eight o'clock right now and my exam's at 8 30 but i'm just gonna like sit down review a little bit but I might also finish up my final that's due tonight um, for my tech staff performance class because I just finished typing up one of the questions and I'll submit that mascot. I'll vlog. <laughs> It's a lot later. I just did my hair and makeup. I'm going out. It's a Friday. Thought I'd show you guys. It was on Excel, but this was what my final exam was. This was the first question. This was the second one. And like I had to compute all the ones that were in green. I had to make a pivot table. 
ya